Hey, this is Mike Song with some really important time management advice for anyone who gets a lot of email. As you know, at Get Control University, we help people get more done. And for the 2 billion people who use Outlook and Gmail, I want to show you the two most important things that you can do to reclaim some time, focus, energy, and accomplish more every day on the job, okay? So what I'm going to do is just very quickly show you two very simple tips. I'm going to demonstrate first in Outlook, then I'll jump over to Gmail, okay? So if you're a Gmail user, you might want to fast forward through this first part of the presentation and I'll use the Outlook desktop for PC version uh, but it, there's similar ways to do both of these things that I'm going to show you real quickly in almost any version of Outlook. Real quickly when you get an email from a low priority repeat sender in your inbox you know wh whoever that might be the key thing to do is to highlight that message from that low priority repeat sender so if you see that sender in your inbox the following steps are real easy you click on rules and always move messages from this is actually my publicist not a low priority sender but I just using it as an example and then you can auto route it to an email folder of your choice or create a new one this is a great way to take 15 20 percent of your low priority repeat senders and shoot them directly to folders that you can check once in a while it's like having a robot grab stuff before it hits your inbox and put it away the second thing is even easier you highlight that low priority repeat sender in your inbox and click on junk and block junk sender. It's grayed out for maybe 5% of the organizations out there, but most of you should be able to rapidly do that big one-two punch. Block the sender and auto route the low priority repeat senders to folders you can check once or twice a month. Really easy so far, right? Okay, Gmail users, it's your turn. Another billion people using Gmail around the world. So let me jump into my Gmail folder real quickly here and show you the exact same basic conceptual idea. You look in your inbox, uh, and I'm just gonna pick anything here, and you say, well, I'd like to auto route this low priority repeat sender to a folder that I can check once or twice a month. Well, I would see it in my inbox, check the box next to it, click on more, filter messages like these, that's exactly what we're doing, we're filtering, then click on create filter with this search, Okay, and then we get to a final page where we can click on skip the inbox and then apply the label. And here again, just like with the Outlook example, we can either create a new label if we don't have labels for, you know, low priority associations, monthly vendor bills, um, I think of my travel rewards plan, things like that. Click on new label if you need to create one or just simply choose one from your existing labels that you already have. It's even easier to, um, to actually take an email from your inbox and if you click on that email, you'll notice up pops something here. Let's say you wanted to block this sender in the future. You click on this little triangle in the upper right hand corner and notice I could block that sender if I wanted to. Block, boom, just like that. And that's it. It's really a small number of high impact uh, best practices that save the most amount of time. And that's why we at getcontrol.net want you to come in and take one of our courses, take one of our classes, read one of our books. They're quick, they're easy, they're virtual, or they can be at your uh, site. And this will help you save 30 minutes a day. This and about 10, 15 other techniques that we'll share. And the bottom line is when you're saving 30 minutes a day, you are saving 15 days a year. Feel free to visit us at getcontrol.net. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to share and show you more time-saving tips and tricks.